Hello and welcome to SUSC TV's Match Day Live commentary of Barnet versus Sutton United in the National League coming live from the Hive. Nice rhyme there. So Sutton United's lineup is Ross Warner, Dale Bennett, Dean Beckwood, Jamie Collins, Kenny Davis, uh, Jimmy Torre, Craig Eastman, Nicky Bailey, Harry Beatsman, Brett Williams and James Dobson. And the whistle's gone now, and you'll listen to SUS TV's Match Their Live commentary of Barnet versus Sutty to come live here from the Hive in the National League. Eastman looking to win the ball in the air. Ball hooked up from Bennett. Look flick forward from Torre. Dobson trying to run to it. Ball smashed forward towards uh, Coulter. Coulter's. Played out from Bouchard. Here's Dan Sweeney, the right-sided centre-back. Clips it up for Alexander Sron to uh, Cher Alexander. It's just too far in front of him. Oh, just, having a, just having a quick look. Kenny Davis has gone down. Not quite sure what's up with him. He's gone, gone down. With, almost looked as though he was feeling unwell or something. But he's gone down onto his, onto his haunches. And Jamie Collins is immediately signalling for somebody to warm up. So it's... Uh, so just not not quite right with a knock on the head or something as he as the balls balls played through, but he's looking a bit groggy at the moment. Dean Beckwith is concerned. So an early stoppage here with only a minute gone. Um, so yeah, if if Kenny has to go off, uh, how she pulled also switch up the substitutes we got. Uh, well, I suspect. Looking at that, uh, Aswad Thomas at left back and Nicky Bailey's in midfield would be the uh, at this, late, at this this early in the game. I think would be the. Uh, the obvious one because I'm not sure any of the strike I think the strikers were probably involved too much of a reshuffle but you can put Bailey in midfield and you can put Aswad Thomas to left back so we'll have to wait and see yours. Yours. Headed forward from Barnett it's Taylor but it's touched from Bennett and poked it away with his right foot all further flicked off from Beatman Torrey holds it up well needs an option and uses Davis Davis up first time and easy header cross for Sweeney Toy trying to earn the ball back. Here's Gimme Torre trying to get away. Was he tripped up there? Nothing given against Gimme Torre. Ian Baird uh, looks very surprised why Sutton United didn't get a free kick. Well, I think Sutton are going to make a change soon. I think Rory Deacon's going to be coming on. And Davis has gone down again. Davis has gone down again. He's obviously not feeling right. And I think Jamie Collins, I think, is, is insistent that, that he's not going to be able to carry on that Davis isn't going to be able to carry on and uh, Bobby Childs is just coming over with the, the Barnet doctor as well I think they're going to uh, bring him back to the sidelines and I think the uh, change will be made this time in fact he's going straight to the Davis going straight to the dressing room this time with the Barnet doctor so obviously either a knock or not feeling quite right or whatever it is but Davis it is that goes off inside the first 17 minutes and welcome back to Sutton United Rory Deacon is the player who has come to the sidelines originally on the substitutes bench a huge roar from the Sutton supporters in the far corner of the ground on the far side huge cheer from the Sutton supporters as Rory Deacon regains his place in the Sutton lineup slightly earlier than the management would have liked but uh... so everything's set in the middle now and Dobson hesitates leaves it for Beatman oh not a great delivery Bouchard heads with it Dobson heads it into Beatman Sutton calves on the now Dobson puts a dangerous delivery in, in here headed away only as far as Rory Deacon Deacon oh, shot blocked his first attempt that's how it looked like to me Good. I could be completely wrong though anyway short throw in from Dobson to Bennett Bennett's delivery pushed away for Cousins oh Deacon was leaning back at least Deacon's getting some strikes and on goal now I'm sure it'll only take a map time before he gets him on target but Tony as I said Deacon getting in some shots on goal not, not his most famous shots but uh, at least something putting on a bit of pressure now on the goalkeeper Yes, so that was, that was the moment. Oh, and Sutton have a free kick just inside the half. There's another Jubilee line train goes behind the stand on the far side of the ground. Very good service, very frequent service of trains going either way. Just a couple of stops from the edge of the end of the Jubilee line here. This uh, free kick is knocked in, it's headed away. It might come to Dobson uh, Williams on the edge area. Williams in the volley, and it's only just wide. Williams thought it took a deflection. Referee's given a goal kick will take the free kick now this time Dobson will take the delivery and here it comes a good one it's headed away by Sweeney Deacon up with the header to knock it back Cousins coming out has lost it he's been 
In fact, he's been challenged by his own defender there, Craig. In the centre, Alita out here to Mason Clark. Mason Clark, ball across, cleared on his first Taylor. Oh, golden chance there for Barnett. But Buton was there in the right place to flick over the bar. Tony Barnett's best moment of the match, surely. Yeah, the closest we've had to a goal on either end. Good work by Mason Clark. Bailey couldn't. Williams flicks on. Torre picks it up. Torre gets away from Charles. Still Torre. And he's got free kick. Breeze past Tutonda. Uh, sorry, I called him Dan Tutonda. Uh, David Tutonda, to say. Uh, and Dobson with his left foot high with the wall. Oh, James Dobson. What a way to score your first goal for Sutton United. That is the exact reason why we got it from Slough Town. Placed over the wall with his left foot. Absolutely no chance for Cousins. It flew towards his left, right into the corner. Tony, that is a peach from James Dobson. Taylor scoops it in. Collins shoulders that away. Is that pushed there on Williams' back? Nothing given away. It's fallen to Collins anyway. And he clears it up for Torre to run on to. Alexander needs to get his foot on this quickly. He does well. Alexander to clear it away. So Sutton only got thrown out of it. Dobson headed only as far as Eastman oh, cracked it through the wall Eastman fell down too easily there lost his balance and now could it be a counter attack Alito pings it out towards Courtiers and it's fallen to Warner Sorry. in swinging corner here it comes towards the far post it's headed away comes out headed back in by Buterman still bouncing around Sweeney with a header out still bouncing around Beckwith up Sweeney again clearing it and in the end, Sweeney has to clear it again. Meanwhile, Coulthurst has fouled Collins as Collins was as Bailey takes it. And it's too deep. Toure can't get there. Williams can't get there. And it's Coulthurst. Coulthurst surge through the middle. Oh, he's pushing the back there. Clear free kick. I think there's a special foul there from Collins. Can repeat the feat in this match. Taylor, oh dear. I think he might want some lessons from James Dobson. Sutton, Warner, man taking this goal kick with a middle lead to see Taylor's free kick far. Behind them, if it does have an advantage in the second half, as they attack the end to our right where the Sutton supporters are. And um, they'll just be looking now to, it's one of those games where they really like a second half where nothing happened and they go away with a 1-0 win. Warner towards Deacon, Deacon takes it on the chest superbly. Deacon, back here to Buteman, lays it in front of Bennett. Bennett. It's a decent looking cross towards the back stick. Williams has had oh, just wide the target in the end. Again. Sharp turn. Oh, well defended though from Bennett. Barnett still have it. Can they come to something up? Alexander. Oh, Norris uh, his option. At one, he goes for a shot. And uh, I'll tell you what, not a bad idea for Alexander. Hit the side, side of his right boot. Kept, will kept the play from Coulthiers. Here's Coulthiers now driving into the box. Good block from Beckham in another corner. Pressure from the bees starting to eat up now. Having help in this corner. No, Alito's going to whip it in like he usually does. And Sutton should get this away. Dobson only as far as Bouchard. Connected. Not a bad connection there for Bouchard on the volley. I think it was always going wide, but I've seen. Uh, so there's 271 uh, Sutton fans here at the Hive today. Great turnout from uh, the U's. And Warner comes out with his He's caught out. Oh, it's hit the side netting. No one on the overlap, so Dobson's going to go himself against Alexander. Dobson. Oh, not bad attempt at delivery there. Lead for Sutton. And Warner whacks it forward with the laces of his left foot. Williams, oh, gets his touch right. It's Brett Williams. Oh, not a bad attempt that. I'll tell you what, Tony, with Brett Williams up there on his own, he's got a corner out that. Fantastic work from Sutton's number 28. Eastman got his body in there. Titonda smashes it forward. Um, Thomas needs to deal with it. Oh, gets his body stuck under the ball. Gutierrez just looked like it was pulled there. Free kick on the edge of the box. And yellow. Dangerous position. This is a good chance for Barnett to go level. Warner's got to be ready on his toe. Get, gets his wall set up. This is a good position. Charles over the wall. Oh, not too far away. Oh, Collins knocked out. Tony spotted that. Short corner taken. To Alito, good block from Deacon. And a curling shot, great effort there from Wesley Fongu. Fantastic save, uh, the right fingertips of Ross Warner. And Tony, terrific save uh, from Warner there, uh, had to be alert.
Yeah, Barnett took the quick quick corner, eventually came to Fonguk, shot from just outside the area, Warner, good good tip over. Fonguk, square pass to Elito, who's again got a bit of space, midway inside the half, Elito playing it through to Harrison, right edge of the penalty area, Harrison back to Alexander, Alexander chip across towards the far post, heads go up, away by Bennett, it's going to come into, I think there's a challenge there, Barnett wants a penalty, I'm going to get it, I don't think, the ball comes out again to Sweeney, Sweeney, time to put in a right foot cross all hands to the pump for Sutton in the penalty area Eastman this time with the header away it's going to be a Barnett corner on the far side the square to Alito edge of the penalty area Alito onto Alexander on the far side the Barnett right Alexander chips the ball in the header comes in it's going to come to Coulthurst far side of the penalty area Coulthurst drills it down set by Warner and cleared away by Beautyman Warner managed to get in the way of it and Warner to take the free kick whistle's gone 